Hello everybody. In this video we will be talking about practical transformers. So first off, the word practical will be the main thesis of this video to explain what it is when we say practical and then transformer. So it's simply first a transformer that operates in a real physical environment. Second is that it is a contrast to an ideal transformer. So let's first explain what an ideal transformer is because if I tell you what a practical transformer and what it does, you might not, you will not know the significance of the difference between the two. So ideal first. So let's learn that ideal transformer first it is a transformer that does not experience any power loss. So when we have the primary and the secondary side, so let's draw simply our circuit here. So this is an ideal transformer. So an ideal transformer we have the primary side and then a secondary side. There will be no power loss. Therefore, P1 here on the primary side, I'm just gonna scroll up a little bit so you guys can see what I'm writing the power in the primary side will be equal to the power in the secondary side. So P1 is equal to P2 and also we also have to write down that this this equation, oops sorry, I2 because as we know transformer amplifies the voltage and the current but the power equals the same so that's why we have V1, I1 is equal to V2, I2. Depending on the change of V1 and V2, if let's say V1 is increased uh, and then V2 is larger, then it would have a decrease in I1 and I2. But the power is the same. And the power is the same because it is an ideal transformer that does not experience any power loss. So this is important. This part does not experience any power loss is the thesis of what an ideal transformer is. So let's write down let's, and let's discuss how what a practical transformer. What is it? So we know that is it is a contrast to ideal transformers and we know that ideal transformer does not experience any power loss. Well since it is the contrast to it what we can state is that a practical transformer is a transformer that does experience power loss. So I'm going to highlight the importance of what a practical transformer is. So now let's draw our circuit again. So 
So since it does experience power loss, P1 will be greater than P2. And we have to write down our equations again. Now P1 has to be greater than P2. It cannot be the other way around because in reality, how could you produce more power, right? So it does experience power loss in a real physical environment due to you know, the environment, the physical environment. So P1 is greater than P2. Now our circuit is not finished. We have to make, we have to draw a new component and that component will be the thing that will have our power decreased when it goes from primary to secondary. So let's apply impedance transfer. Now if you don't know what impedance transfer is, well you should check out my previous previous video where I discuss what is it. So before proceeding in this video, I highly recommend if you guys don't know what it is to click on my previous video. I am going to provide a link to it. But before let's but now let's uh, proceed. If you know what it is, then I'm going to draw the circuit when the secondary side is transfer to the primary side. So here what we will have is first let's draw our impedance first. I forgot to draw impedance. So Z1 and then we have Z2 which is in the secondary side and an apostrophe to indicate that it is transferred to the secondary side. So what we have is this V2 prime, and then we have V1 here. Now, this is the component that dictates the power loss. So, we have what we have RC and XM. These two components are the one that will have, that will drop our power. So this is what it is. I want to highlight it. Now let's go in depth. To investigate what this uh, component, this, these two parts is. So I'm going to write it. I'm going to draw it in a new blank piece of paper and draw it bigger because that circuit was too small. So we have RC and XM. So RC, the current that is flowing through it would be the copper loss and XM is the magnetizing inductance loss. So a current, let's try right here, you can name it IO. IO would be the loss current. Current the current, the loss current would be split between these two pathways and what we have is IC here then and then IM and then IC would be the core loss current or copper loss current and IM is the magnetizing current Now what I want to signify is that IC and IM are perpendicular to one another. So this is what the current would look like. Then we'll draw the magnitude of both currents and that magnitude would be our lost current altogether. So when considering practical transformers, what we need to know is this thing right here, RC and XM.
and the current flowing through each pathways. And this total part of the circuit is essentially the one that will decrease the power in the secondary side. And that is what a pra practical transformer is, a transformer that experiences power loss and is a transformer that operates in a real physical environment, contrast to an ideal transformer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.